Synology Snapshot Replication Package provides a set of tools that allow us to protect our data from accidental deletion, data corruption, and viruses. I've covered snapshots, which are point-in-time copies of your data, and how to use them to recover from a ransomware attack in my Synology Snapshots Ransomware Protection video, which I'll link to in the description below. Building on that video, I'll cover the replication feature here in this video, showing you how to sync your shared folder snapshots to a second Synology NAS to protect your data further by creating a second copy of your content. Before moving on, I want to note that not all Synology NAS models support snapshots and replication, and here is a current list that do. I'll leave a link to this page listed here on screen in the description below for your reference, along with some Synology NAS models that I use that support snapshots and replications as well. Another prerequisite to make use of snapshots and replication is that your Synology NAS be set up with BTRFS volumes, which I covered in my storage pool and volume setup video, which I'll link to in the description below also. Now that I've covered the prerequisites needed to make use of snapshots and replications, I'll set up a test environment before configuring a replication task. First, I'll install the snapshot replication package on both Synology NAS systems, which I'll do here on this system that I'll use as the source Synology NAS. I've already installed the package on the destination Synology NAS. Next, I'll create a shared folder on the source Synology NAS using the BTRFS volume that was created during the setup process. And I'll select the default options in the wizard to complete the shared folder setup. I'll then copy a few files into the new shared folder to have some data to snapshot and then replicate to the destination Synology NAS. Now we're ready to set up a replication task and I'll start by launching the snapshot replication package from the main menu. This window on optimizing replication performance is displayed, letting us know that replication performance may be affected due to record file access time being enabled on the volume that the replication will be configured on. I'll just ignore this warning for this video and click OK, but if you aren't using Storage Analyzer or an application that requires record file access time functionality, you could set this option to Never in Storage Manager to optimize replication performance. I'll then select Replication, then click on Create to bring up the Create Replication Task Wizard, and I'll click Start to continue. Here, we have the choice of a local or remote destination, and I'll leave the selection at remote because I want to send a snapshot to a different Synology NAS. But if you have a second BTRFS volume on the source NAS, you could create a local replication as well. Next, I'll select the destination Synology NAS from the server name or IP address pull-down menu, and because my NAS is on my local network, I see it listed here. I'll then enter in the username and password to connect to the NAS and enable the Use Encrypted Connection checkbox. For this setup, nothing needs to change under Advanced Settings, but you may need to adjust your settings if you need to enter in a specific server name or IP address or change the port numbers used in your configuration. I'll click Next to continue. For the destination volume, I'll choose the volume I'd like to use, then click Next. For data to replicate, I'll select the shared folder that was created earlier, then click Next once again. For the initial replication, I'll use the default option to send the initial copy over the network, as well as sync immediately after the creation of the replication task. Note that if you have a storage device like a USB connected hard drive, for example, you could select the send the initial copy using the storage device option. For the replication schedule, I'll leave things as default, which has the source NAS taking a snapshot and replicating it to the destination NAS daily at midnight. You should adjust the replication schedule to best fit your needs. For retention policy, I'll change my setup to keep all snapshots for seven days, but again, make sure to adjust your retention policy appropriately for your environment. I'll leave these advanced settings options unchecked, but you could also replicate scheduled local snapshots and use the time in the GMT plus zero time zone to name the snapshots if you would like. 
At this point, everything looks fine, so I'll click Done to finish creating the replication task, and because I chose to sync immediately after the replication task was created, I see a pop-up letting me know that the initial replication task completed successfully to the destination Synology NAS. At this point, the replication task has been created successfully, so I'll click OK on this message window and click on Info to get additional information on the replication task. Under Status, we see that the last replication was successful, along with when the last successful replication ran, when the next replication will take place, and we can also get an estimated data size for the replication. Statistics give us details on how many successful runs have taken place with transfer speeds and size. Finally, Topology provides details on the source and destination Synology NAS systems as it pertains to the replication task. On the destination Synology NAS, if I bring up the snapshot replication package, we can also confirm that the replication task was successfully ran and view similar info like we saw on the source Synology NAS as well. Hopefully this video provided you with information to better take advantage of Synology's snapshot replication package by providing you some insight on how to implement replication tasks in your environment. And if it did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you found this content useful, consider subscribing to this channel and consider supporting my work by checking out the various options in the support this channel section in the description below. Thanks so much for watching.